Uh, how's it going, Marty's? It's your main Marty E-Man here, and today, I swear this is hopefully the last one. Today we have which Infinity Stone defines you. I think I've mentioned this one, oh, maybe not. But um, after I went to go see Infinity War with a friend of mine, I kind of like looked at Vinny's ring, and I was like, this kind of looks like the Soul Stone, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know if you can uh, see. But yeah. Because, uh, well, my birthstone is uh, actually gold sapphire, which is what this is. So I was think, so I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is like the soul stone, because it's orange. Um, so I was like, that's, that's kind of dope. For me, if I was to, like, have a ring that held an infinity stone. Because it's like, Ronan had a hammer, he had the power stone. Loki had a scepter that held the mind stone. Uh, Vision's head also had the mind stone. Ma, I think his name was Malekith from Thor 2. He just w kind of wore the ether, the reality stone. Um, Doctor Strange had a had the time stone and I have a motor necklace. Adam, I don't know if you guys know. Adam Warlock is said to uh, maybe uh, no, yeah, he's confirmed, but he maybe will have the Soul Stone with him. After all of Infinity War is done with. And he's going to actually have it in his forehead, just like Vision had Mind Stone. And he's going to use that as, like, shoot beams and then absorb people. I think that, I don't know if they're going to go with that, but hopefully they kind of do, because he's very OP. Um, who else? I think, yeah, I think that's all the stones. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go with time, because I like time. I respect it. Because everything else is like, oh, it's a power stone. You just... Blast lasers. Uh, space and reality, they're very tricky. That's fun to mess with people. Uh, Mind Stone. That stone doesn't get used too much. But time, time is very like... You You were like the... Ma I feel like you are you could be the master of the universe if you're able to master time manipulation. Easily. But anyways, without further ado, let's go. <laughs> No, not a personality quiz. Quiz for infinite power. Infinite manipulation of universal stuff. Let's begin. Choose a color. Blue, 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 blue. Hold on. The, the, why are there only five colors? There's six stones. So you got yellow is mind. Violet, I'd say purple, is power. Blue is space. Red is reality. And then green is time. Are we not supposed to have the soul stone? Just pick it up at Vormir. Spoilers. Alright, so blue. Because blue is my favorite color. 50 points. Which super out would you like to have? This is tough. Well, strength would be power. Precognition would be... Precognition might be soul. Telepathy would be mind. Well, either one of those could be mind. Teleportation, that's space. Unless precognition would be reality. And time travel, time. Um, teleportation is fun. Um, telepathy, I don't really, I don't need any more voices in my head. Precognition, that's predicting what might happen before it happens, I think. Time travel would be fun, but I'd be too worried about you know, timelines and a bunch of things getting ruined, so I'm I'm gonna have to go with teleportation. This is already This leans too close to like a space stone already. But yes, teleportation. It's the closest thing to being a speedster. Plus it's only time travel, not time manipulation. Which character would you choose? First off, that's her name, Irani Rael. 
I, I don't know. I like Vision because his, um, because I like, um, de uh, density manipulation. I really would love the idea of phasing through objects. I think that'd be awesome. Um, I feel like if we choose either between Loki or Vision, it's going to give us Mind Stone. Collector might get us either reality or power. Ironie's going to give us power. And Strange is obviously going to give us time. But I do like... I'm choosing between either... I'll take Strange. I like... I, I prefer Doctor Strange over Vision. Ah, I like them both. <laughs> Which word describes you most? Introvert, popular, nerd, unique. We'll go with unique on that one. If it hasn't been to parent. Love this kid. Extrovert! That's <laughs> right, so a 40 points with the oddly, I just realized, shirtless kid in overalls. Or suspenders, I'm sorry. Pick one of the following. Like, this isn't super obvious. I mean, I'm already wearing the Eye of Agamotto. Tesseract, I don't know what I would be able to do with the Tesseract or Orb. Scepter, where am I going to put the Scepter? Ether, what am I going to do with the Ether? Necklace, I can, I'm already wearing it, so... I'm going to go with the Eye of Agamotto. I would love to have a cube, though. I don't know, it's kind of cool to just be holding a cube. So, 40 points again. And a Tesseract is an actual... Uh, thing in science. It's kind of cool. Don't overthink. Just choose the most appealing image. Ooh, I'd have to say five. Image five looks super cool. Love how it looks like the Triforce. Now which series do you like the most? Avengers. I'll tell you how Doctor Strange is a series, we've only gone one movie. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go calculate. Okay, alright. So I got... Think about... Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I got 280. <sighs> All right, so first one up is, I'm just gonna leave one of these out. I, I sound weird. Power Stone. Infinite Power. Power Stone would be kind of nice, but it's kind of just, it's powered by user's mastery of mind. It grants unlimited strength and power manipulation. It also fuels the other Infinity Stones. It fuels them? Some of the most possible traits are extremely powerful, lethal, versatile, resilient, defensive, durable, cosmic, Distinctive, I forgot what that last word was. Third, the Time Stone! Oh, But I, I always practice. Damn it. It's powered by user's mastery of space. User can travel, freeze, manipulate the, the time. It can also alter the path. Let me finish! It can also alter the past in conjunction with other stones. First off, how is it powered by user's mastery of space? How does that work? Uh, it can also alter the past conjunction with other stones. So it can alter how the other stones would work? Uh, whatever. Uh, independent, value-driven, complex, confident, clear, private, cooperative, creative, and caring. You'd have to use some creativity with time, I guess. Ether. Yep, reality. By the way, you, having the reality stone work into effect 
in uh, Infinity War was hilarious. This power by users mastery of time can allow a user to access multiverse. It can rewrite existence and manipulate reality. Internal agent, leader, curious, immense, active, protective, smart, intelligent. All right. All right, this is gonna be me. I'm gonna say Tesseract. I got Soul Stone! Yes? No, that's the Mind Stone, sorry. Sorry, I thought that was Soul. I think I just have a flying. So I got Mind Stone. Powered by the user's mastery of the soul, it bestows limitless telepathic and telekinetic power. Astral projection can also be done. Oh, that's awesome. Why is intelligent? Thinker, curious, protective, enthusiastic, powerful, peacekeeper. Okay. I guess the mind stone could fit in here too. And this is gonna be Tesseract. Yep. Wait, so this so Soul Stone's not even included in this. You only got the five. Okay, so if you got Space Stone, powered by user's mastery of pa How does that okay, it can eliminate distance through teleportation and manipulation of space. And also help you throw a moon. Optimistic, bright, calm, cons concentrated, confident, quiet, logical, decisive, reserved, bold. Undefined. Is that supposed to be the soul stone? What would be undefined points? Do you think that others don't fit you? Oh! It's powered by user's mastery of reality. It can alter a person's core personalities can preserve soul to allow for life after death. Extremely powerful, unique, one-of-a-kind, lonely, difficult, down-to-earth, universal. Yeah, I suppose it could alter someone's soul. It can also absorb them. For those of you that don't know, the soul stone uh, can be used to uh, eat souls, which is a nice little theory <laughs> that's going around for the fourth movie. <laughs> Anyway, so, yeah, I, uh, got Mind Stone. All right. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I like how it says right here. Until next time, Martys. Later. Woo! I personally would have gone with power. Yeah, we know. It's pretty cool. We know.